Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek. I'm here with Nikki Patios from Hachette, and you've brought us Candy Lab, which is being published by Funny Fox. Yes. <laughs> uh, Candy Lab is a card game, and it is for ah, eight and up for uh, two to four players, and it plays in about 15 minutes. So it's meant to be kind of get in there and do your stuff. I've got this set up for three players. Um, the idea of the game is that you are candy makers and you are trying to fulfill orders, which are these cards here and these cards here. And um, fulfilling these orders will get you points, which you can see like on this card that I pulled out. Um, if I fill these, this order here, I will get two points. Um, for that fulfilling that order. Oh, that's a blue. That's not a good choice. <laughs> There's three points for that one. Um, and the candies that you are fulfilling or collecting are on this line right down the middle. And these are so cool looking acrylic plastic. I keep pulling blue because that's my favorite. Color. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, but they're huge, like chunky, yeah. like really satisfying, clunky pieces. Yeah, it's a ghost candy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so what you do when you set it up is you randomly place these down the middle of the table. And you are going to look at your hand of orders and you are going to see if you can fulfill any of the orders. Now, filling an order isn't as simple as just saying, I'll take that one and I'll take that one. No way. They have to be next to each other in the line in order for you to collect them. So, for instance, uh, I could collect these two because I could just flip the card and now that's the correct order. So you are allowed to um, rotate the card in order to um, collect some of that, uh, the items, the candy. Uh, when I do, I, I save this because that's two points for that. I put this, these two candies in front of me. And right now, if the game were to end, I would have uh, six points because this center here is two points for this candy bar, two points for this bar, and two points for my contract. Um, so they go up to three, as well as the contracts go up to three points. Some of them are one point and uh, two points. The symbols on these um, candy bars allow you to do some different things that affect your, your play, other players in the game. You would cinch this up and then you would take these two actions that are on this candy bar in any order that I want to. And the game has a handy dandy cheat sheet um, to, sh to let you know what each of these symbols are but you know once you've played it a couple times you've got the symbols down so um, with this arrow I can exchange my hand of cards my hand of contracts with another player just here we go you've got mine and I've got yours done there's nothing that player can do <laughs> can do about it and then the other thing, the other symbol on this one, this pink candy bar, is I can, um, <clears throat> if another player had played down a contract and had fulfilled it, I could take that contract from them. So just bam. And this will go into the discard pile. And that's that. The other symbols on here is a plus sign. This one is I can take a card from the draw pile for myself. Um, the minus one is I take a randomly pull a card from another player's hand. And the arrow here is um, I can put back a candy bar from another player. So if this player over here, I'm picking on the guy next to me. If this player had already collected some candy bars, I could choose one of his bars of candy and put it back on either side of, of this candy bar line. Um, the way to get more um, contracts in your hand is you yourself have to give up 
one of your candy bars or three of your candy bars, however many you want. And then you could draw that number of, of points that you're giving up to draw contracts, either blind from the top or from what is shown in the array. Uh, the game will end when um, there are either uh, no more candy bars in the line or no more contracts. So the contracts don't reshuffle or anything. So once something's discarded, it's discarded. So those are the two ways the game can end. If you are the player that ended the game, you get to take the super duper candy cane and that'll get you three more points at the end of the game. Players do get uh, to finish out the, the turn if possible, but. <laughs> and I think you've, you've pulled, looks like in the bottom left there, you've pulled out a couple of the contracts that are a little bit more unusual in particular. Sure, I, I did. Um, so this, the blue is gonna disappear, but uh, this rainbow is just a wild. So you have to pull from the line a blue and any other color that's next to it, of course. You're always pulling next to each other. This one is just a wild. And then we've got this one that is um, three colors all next to each other in the array. And um, for one point. So those are the basic, uh, all the cards that you're gonna go through. Is there anything? I thought it was a interesting balance that uh, you, you feel like the contract should be backwards. Like, hey, the one that requires only one candy bar is worth three points, but exactly. you only get one power off of that. So I thought that was a nice little yeah. power balance there. Exactly. Because that when I was reading the rules, I'm like, why is a one three points? Oh, because you can if you pull one that has an effect on it, you're getting three points and an only uh, one one effect to do to other um, players. So that was a balance too. And I, I don't know if, if you noticed, but some of the candy bars don't have an effect on them at all. So this number three uh, won't um, do anything. You just are collecting it for the three points. But I, and I believe the ones that, that's also a little bit balanced that the ones that either don't have points or the power isn't as powerful are worth three points and then everything else is worth two. Right, exactly. Well, a game that might have the side effect of making you hungry. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I think these are pretty, you know, like a Jolly Rancher or something. Some sort of heart yeah. candy. <laughs> heart. Yeah, Jolly Rancher is the one that came to mind for me, too, because it's, because it's somewhat translucent like these yeah. pieces are. Um, that the, yeah, that's the one that I was sort of hankering for after I, I saw, I saw a demo of this earlier this year. I was like, oh, yeah, oh okay. Answer now. Yeah. Well, this one <laughs> is eye candy, now. says Steph. <laughs> yeah. Ha -ha. <laughs> Pardon my pun. <laughs> uh, yeah. This game is available now in the U.S. So, yep. <laughs> so you can just go down to your flags and check it yep. out. Yep. If your store doesn't have it, tell them to ask for it. Well, Nikki, as always, thank you so much for giving us a quick tour of Candy Lab. And if you guys want to check that out, that is available now, at least in the U.S., which is published by Funny Fox. And thank you yep. again.